You might have seen this micro animation before. It feels really nice. Or maybe you want something different. What about gravity animation, where the chips fall and you can select more than one? That kind of effect makes your onboarding feel fun and interesting. And this is what you will learn to build in this tutorial. The first step is to make this easy to use on any view. And we can do that with a custom view modifier. And the content, it will be the view we apply to. Is it could be many different animations with opacity or scale or blur. And we'll ask for the delay because maybe it'll be multiple views in one screen. And I wanna show them one by one. You might think, that's nice, but what about direction? Maybe you want the view to move in from the top, drop in from the bottom, or slide from the left or right. This matters because every UI is unique and direction helps match the style you want. By using an enum, it becomes easy to pick the direction. Each case has its own offset, so we can simply choose the one we want. On the first screen, we need a reusable feature view. Every feature comes alive in its own color, carrying an icon that represents it, a title that gives it a name, and a subtitle that adds just enough context to make it clear. Now we can create an array of features and simply use the feature view. I'll also add a micro animation, but with the delay multiplied by the index, that way each feature shows up one after another. The last step is a reusable button style. We just pass in the title and the action, and this keeps all our buttons consistent across the app. It's important to show the user how many steps remain. A progress view does exactly that. It shows where they are in the flow and how much is left which makes the experience feel clear and predictable. What we do here is very simple. First, we grab the screen size using a geometry reader. Then we divide that width by the total number of steps, so every step gets an equal space. Finally, we draw each step as a capsule, giving us a clean and modern progress bar. When we move from one screen to the next, we animate the capsule's width so it looks like the progress is moving forward. We also handle the same case for screen zero, which means the very first screen. Here comes the fun part. We're creating the gravity view with multi-selection. I'm not gonna dive deep into how the Sprite Kit code works because our focus is Swift UI. And inside this function, you're free to bring in any Swift UI view and customize it as you like. And to make things easier, we've also added a few options to customize how the animation behaves so you can control the look and feel without touching the Sprite Kit logic. The first thing is that you can pass in any array of views. In our case, we're using chips, and each chip comes alive with its own color, an icon that fits it, and a title. The next thing to look at is gravity. This controls how fast the animation feels, almost like adjusting the weight of the objects as they fall. Along with that comes the bounce factor which decides what happens when the items hit the ground. Do they spring back with a little bounce? Or do they land and stay put? And finally, we have the start delay, which gives us control over timing. This way, the micro animation can play first, and only after that do the chips begin to fall with gravity. Now we're going to build a simple onboarding view. Think of it like a card that shows one idea at a time. At the top, we can show an icon, then the title, and a short subtitle underneath. And at the bottom, there's a button that takes us to the next step. Once we have that, we put everything together inside the start view. Here the idea is simple. We keep track of which screen we are on using a number called current index. Then we just switch on that number. Each case in the switch gives us a different screen. So when the index is zero, we show the first screen. When it moves to one, we show the next and so on. To make the change feel smooth, we use a transition. That means when a new screen comes in, it slides from the right, and when it goes away, it moves out to the left. This makes the whole flow feel natural, 